All right, today I'm going uh, to retouch on uh, the uh, Miami uh, Iron Addicts Gym um, raid um, steroids. I was listening to the guy, uh, well, what, what is his name, uh, website, uh, Six Pack App Shortcuts. Uh, I have to really commend that guy because... Uh, he has a uh, very large YouTube channel, and I like the idea of him uh, reaching out to uh, C.T. Fletcher, uh, basically giving him some uh, pretty good advice on uh, the uh, issues at hand with the gym with uh, Mike Rashid. And uh, basically what he was saying is uh, that you have to... Uh, you have to pretty much watch yourself and watch your name once you uh, move up to a certain status. Uh, C.T. Fletcher <clears throat> is still uh, uh, doing everything the old school way, you know, with a handshake. You know, and that's an honorable thing and an admirable thing. But you know, today's people, you can't you can't deal with people like that. And uh, and it's bad to say that uh, Mike Rashid betrayed his trust like that. And basically, that's what he did. He betrayed the man's trust and uh, got his name out there uh, and uh, wallowed it in the mud. But back to the guy with the um, six-pack shortcuts, I like the fact that uh, he gave uh, C.T. Fletcher some good advice on how you have to watch the people that you're around to protect your name and stuff like that. And that you don't need steroids in order to build a uh, nice physique. You know, this guy is in, in his upper 50s, C.T. Fletcher in his upper 50s. Um, and they're just showing you, you know, that it don't take drugs to develop a decent body. Now, to, de to, to develop one of those monster bodies, yeah, you're going to need drugs for that. And at the same time, you're going to uh, end up with uh, a lot of health problems and uh, things of that nature uh, in, the, in the future. Uh, you take uh, Ronnie Coleman. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you take uh, what his name is. Uh, oh, I forget his name. I forget his name. I forget his name. But he was in a running with uh, Ronnie Coleman when uh, for the Mr. Olympus is tight at one time, and uh, he ended up with uh, I think a uh, kidney failure or something like that because of those horse diets that he. Uh, was on but um what is that guy name i can't even think of his name because a lot of them you know um i really don't follow because of the drug thing i mean if you if you have a drug body there's no way in the world you could tell me how to build my body it, you just because it's two different bodies so uh, they respond differently to weights. They respond differently to life, you know, and, and things of that nature. Um, Flex Wheeler, that's his name. Flex Wheeler. I mean, look at his health also. And you got a a, a number of uh, other bodybuilders who have who have had uh, serious health problems from the uh, use of uh, different drugs. And those uh, also, I believe, those harsh diets uh, have a lot to do with a lot of problems they have too. Because dieting down like that, with that uh, uh, such a low percentage of uh, body fat, that's that's ridiculous. But it don't take all that to build a nice physique, a good healthy body. It don't take all that 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 excessiveness that they do. You know, uh, those people that I mentioned, Flex Will around the Coleman. Uh, that's the job that they was in. That's what they used for that particular job. And inevitably, they paid the price with their health. No amount of money is worth me having uh, major hip surgeries and stuff like that. And, and uh, Ronnie Coleman, before he started using drugs, had a uh, super physique. You know, that's, what, that's the reason why he won so many times in the Mr. Olympia. It only enhanced what was already, you know, pretty much a perfect physique as far as for weightlifting. But he paid the price in the uh, long run 
Flex will have paid the price in the long run. Uh, it don't take heavy weights to build a beautiful body. Uh, if you're trying to build a body for aesthetic purposes, uh, I really come, you know, commend that guy uh, from our six pack shortcuts um, on what he did and how he said uh, what he said to uh, C.T. Fletcher. And uh, I mean, basically reaching out for the guy, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That lets you know that you know, old school is still in. You know, that type of camaraderie is still in. You know, uh, C.T. Fletcher just have to realize that with today's use, like Mike Rashid, you can't put that type of trust in those people's hands.